Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve April 2019 university question paper under the subject Commodity and Derivative Market, also known as CDM. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS M5 students. In this video, we are going to take up all the practical sum that had appeared in April 2019 question paper. So let us see what uh, sums were available and how to solve them in the most simplest manner. Okay, the very first question was, if the cost of 10 gram gold in the spot market is 32,000 and the locker rent for storing the gold is 500 uh, for 6 months and insurance is 100 and interest rate is 10% per annum, then what is the fair value of 6 month future contract? Okay, now when such kind of sum is given, they ask you to find the fair value, first you note down the data. So under the data they are giving you cost of the gold is 32,000, locker rent is 500, insurance is 100, rate is 10% which is 0 0.1. Now they didn't mention about compound interest, so we have to take it as, uh, assumed it as simple interest. The number of months are 6 months and they are asking you to find the fair value. Now remember, fair value ka formula is spot price into 1 plus R into N upon 12 because it's a simple interest formula. Spot price is the addition of all the amounts that they are giving you. 32,000 plus 500 plus 100. That comes to 32,600. Into 1 plus R 0 0.1 into month 6 divided by 12. So 6 divided by 12 into 0 0.1 plus 1 gives you 1.05. 32,000 plus 500 plus 100 is 32,600. So 32,600 into 1.05 will give you the amount 34,230 therefore the fair value is rupees 34,230 so this is how you will have to solve the question number 3b you can go through it once Okay, the next question, question 3D. Sunita feels that the stock price of Reliance will go down. See, uh, uh, she shells 10 future contracts expiring after 3 months. The lot size of each contract is 500 shares. The short position, she is taking a short. Short meaning you are sold. Okay, so Sunita has sold. So contract is on selling. It is taken at future price of 1050. Calculate the position value. Find the possible gain or loss on the position if after 3 months the spot rate moves to 1150, 1050 and 950. So there are 3 situations given here. So in the first situation, now she, she is taking the short position meaning she has taken sell. So contract price is sell, Matlab on a settlement date we will have to buy. So we have 3 options of buy. So one by one we are going to do. So first option may contract prices of selling like in all the three cases the contract price will now be selling only because they are taking a short position so 1050 is the selling price so on settlement date you are going to buy so in the first option of buying at 1150 now in order to find profit or loss the formula is selling price minus buying price selling was 1050 and now buying 1150 so you are going to purchase at a higher price so that's a loss for you so when you minus you get a hundred rupees ka loss so now we need to find the total loss so total loss is hundred rupees ka loss into 10 futures so 10 and each future has a lot size of uh, 500 so into 500 so 100 into 10 into 500 so we get a total loss of 5 lakhs rupees okay so that's the uh, the first part condition that they had given so you can go through it once then we'll jump to the second part Okay, now same way second part, contract price will again be is on selling. So your contract price will be 1050, buying is now 1050, profit or loss will give you selling price minus buying price 1050 minus 1050 is 0. So there is therefore there is no profit, no loss in this sum. In the second part, there is no profit, no loss, that's an equilibrium rate. Okay, so go through it once.
थर्ड वन द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइस इज अगेन सेलिंग वन जीरो फाइव जीरो बट नाइन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस इज सेलिंग माइनस बाइंग वन जीरो फाइव जीरो माइनस नाइन फिफ्टी सो इयर इन दिस केस अगेन टू गेट अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ हंड्रेड सो टोटल प्रॉफिट इज हंड्रेड इंटू टेन इंटू फाइव हंड्रेड विच कम्स टू टोटल फाइव लैक्स रुपीज ओके इन ऑल द थ्री केसेज इट वॉज शॉर्ट पोजिशन तो योर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइज ऑफ सेलिंग सो सेटलमेंट वॉज बाइंग इट सेल्फ ओके एंड देन वी जस्ट टू अपलाई द फॉर्मुला एंड गेट द प्रॉफिट और लॉस ओके चलो गो थ्रू एडवांस विद आट दिस पर्टिकुलर सम कम्स टू एन एंड Okay. Now the last question which was there in this paper was, uh, Mrs. X buys a call option on stock of Axis Bank Limited, having paying option premium of twenty eight. So premium given is twenty eight. You are buying a call option. Exercise price is five fifty, and spot prices have been given a varied uh, stock. Uh, you know, spot prices are given. They are asking you to represent and present it in graphical method also. So now, look here carefully. This is the entire sum. Okay, so we give the heading as call option buyer's payoff. Our first column is exercise price. Exercise in all the cases five fifty. So spot was five thirty, five fifty, five seventy, and five ninety. Exercise is five fifty in all the cases. Now, in order to find intrinsic value, it is call option buyer's payoff. The rule is up to the point where your spot and exercises are equal, the value remains zero, and after that there will be a positive increase. So 550, 530. So, so it has to be equal. Okay. So if since the spot price is less or equal, it will remain zero. Thereafter there will be a positive increase. Okay. So 20 and 40 years increase. So basically, if I exercise 550 and if I spot is 530, it's a loss. I can't show loss in intrinsic value, so it will become zero. Okay, like money, whatever we have invested, if the price goes negative, meaning our, our entire money has been wiped out, it's zero. At equal equilibrium, it's zero. It's only above when it goes, then you'll get a positive values. Now, since you're buying a call option, your premium will be negative, so twenty-eight rupees. So in all the cases, negative twenty-eight. Last profit and loss is intrinsic minus premium. So zero minus twenty-eight is twenty-eight negative. Zero minus twenty-eight is negative twenty-eight. Twenty minus twenty-eight is negative eight, and forty minus twenty-eight is positive twelve. The same thing we'll have to show it in the payoff diagram. So payoff may first on the x-axis we note down all the spot price. So five thirty, five fifty, five seventy, five ninety. Intrinsic value and profit and loss will be on a y-axis. Okay, we always start first plotting the uh, the intrinsic value. So at five thirty it was zero. Then again, five fifty pay zero. Then five seventy pay it was twenty, and five ninety pay it was forty. Same way, then we mark the P and L. It was twenty eight, twenty eight on five thirty, five fifty. Then it became negative eight on five seventy, and positive twelve on five ninety. Okay, so this is how you all had to solve the sum based on buyer's call option. Chalo, you all can go through it once. Okay. Last question, question 4D. Uh, Ajit buys a put option. Now this is the vice versa of the sum what we had done. This is buying put option. Uh, premium is 12, exercise is 310, and the spot price is again given to us. So again we make the table. Spot price may be right 280, 290, 300, 310, 320. 310, exercise is 310 bucks. So we write it all the cases may. Now intrinsic value. Now see, remember this is very important. It's a put. Under put the rule is. If the price, the exercise and the spot price are equal or more, the value will become zero. So equal or more, the value becomes zero. After that, after so anything before equal, okay. So if your exercise price is more than your spot price, then you will have a positive return. So it will be negative, you know, positive ten, positive twenty, and positive thirty. 
so put cut is opposite put me the lower the value the better it is for you so whenever you buy a put option suppose if you are taking on 310 so if it is 310 or if, if it goes beyond 310 then you do not have any profit it's zero your value becomes zero if the value falls the spot price falls uh, then you will be in a profitable position okay now again you are buying a premium uh, buying a uh, put option so your premium will be negative so negative tail in all the cases Like last profit and loss, so thirty minus twelve is positive eighteen. Twenty minus twelve positive eight. Ten minus twelve is negative two. Zero and zero minus negative twelve is negative twelve each. With that, the put option bias payoff table gets done, and then similarly we have to just plot it in the graphical way. First, we start always with the intrinsic. On x-axis, we have two eighty, two ninety, three hundred, three ten, three twenty. Uh, PNL and intrinsic values on the y-axis. When it was 280, intrinsic value was 30. We start with always intrinsic value. Okay, 30. Then it became 20, 10, 0, and 0. And profit and loss made it was uh, it was started with 18. Then it became 8, negative 2, negative 12, and negative 12. Okay, so this is how you all have to solve the sum based on buyer's put option. Chalo, go through it once. ओके चलो आई होप एवरीवन वन अंडरस्टूड दैट विद दैट वी विल बी एंडिंग दिस वीडियो हियर थैंक यू